All right, guys, so now we need to download and install XAMPP, which is a package and it contains Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And we also need to install Editor. My favorite editor, it's more like IDE, is a PHP Storm, which is super intelligent, super powerful. The only disadvantage it has is that it's not free, unfortunately. It has a 30 days free trial and then you have to pay for it. Uh, as for the open source and free choice, I would recommend VS Code, as everyone does. It's free, lightweight, it has a lot of extensions and things like that. So let's download these three software and install in our operating system. I have fresh new installation on Windows, so that I think makes things easier for you to just follow if you are new. So let's search for download XAMPP. And I'm gonna download the latest version, which includes PHP 7.4, okay? Uh, I do have that already downloaded, so I don't want uh, to download it again. So let's download uh, PHP Storm and download download VS Code. Okay, so just click the the download button right here and download button for your operating system and that's it so we have it downloaded now let's open the folder and install all these three um, programs okay so let's install XAMPP first so the installation is really simple we just need to follow the steps and I'm going to just untick a couple of uh, tools which I don't want to be installed. Click next, install in default location. And yeah, it's on the way. So meanwhile, let's install PHP Storm. I want this 64 bit launcher. I want to add open folders project. And that's it for now. And let's install VS Code also. Okay, VS Code is already installed. It's super lightweight, as I said, so its installation is also really fast. PHP Storm is also installed, and we can ru run that also. I'm gonna show you uh, how to install uh, the PHP extension for VS Code, and then I'm going to close VS Code because I prefer working with PHP Storm, and I'm gonna work with PHP Storm. Okay, go to these extensions on the left-hand side, then right here, PHP. And the very first one, PHP IntelliSense, is the tool which you need to install. Um, I do have already that installed uh, right now. It's true that I have fresh new installation of VS Code, but I had previously installed VS Code. Uh, I was just testing and that's why I installed that IntelliSense. So you will see simply here, install button, click that install button, and it will install this, um, this extension. Okay, so let's close this. Let's open the PHP Storm and configure it. So you can choose your uh, theme. I'm gonna skip and set defaults. I'm gonna evaluate for free for now. And okay, so the XAMPP that, that, that PHP Storm is done. XAMP is also done and I want to start control panel, okay? That control panel is basically a tool which gives us possibility to start Apache web server and MySQL web server right now, okay? So when we start Apache web server, we can check if the Apache is running uh, in the browser by typing localhost right there. Let me close other tabs. So we type localhost right there, and if we see this Apache welcome page, then we're good and Apache is installed and running. And PHP is also installed and running, that, that proves this. If we want to use MySQL and work with MySQL, we need to start MySQL, and in the browser, we need to type php, php my admin. That's a web-based tool to work MySQL to create some databases, tables, insert data, and so on. 
if you want to use PHP using command line, uh, you need to update uh, system variables uh, path variable. Let me show you first of all that the PHP doesn't work using command line. So if we type PHP minus V, we see PHP is not recognized as an internal or external command. Okay, so we need to go to the um, this PC, go to the properties, advanced system settings, environment variables, click on the path, edit, and right here we need to add new path. And that path should be the folder where the PHP executable is located. We have installed XAMPP in the C drive, XAMPP, and here we have the PHP folder. We're going to copy that path, come here, create new, add that C XAMPP PHP, click OK on everything else. We need to close and open CMD. And then here, we, if we type PHP minus V, then this shows PHP 7.4.1. So if you want to use PHP using command line, you need to uh, do this step. I'm just going to show you how to use PHP command line, uh, not how to use the usage is basically really simple. So you just need to uh, call your PHP file php index.php for example using command line and that's it so we are not going uh, basically create some application using command line just i wanted to show you how to use it on command line okay you you run this if you have php file created and that executes it but right now we don't have this index php okay so let's focus on the web-based applications so we have uh, right now installed uh, exam we have installed php storm and vs code and we can start writing hello world application but before doing this i'm going to show you one thing really quickly when you restart your operating system you will always have to open exam control panel and start apache in mysql because they will be simply stopped I'm going to show you how to install Apache and MySQL as services so that after system restart, it doesn't need to automatically uh, uh, open the control panel and click the uh, start buttons manually. Okay, so let's close uh, this control panel. Let's go to the C drive, XAMPP, and at the bottom we have this xampcontrol.exe. So let's open this as an administrator. And we have this red Xs in front of Apache and MySQL. Let's click that uh, buttons to install Apache as a server. Let's install MySQL as a server also. And we can start right now. And that basically is it. So when you restart your operating system, Apache and MySQL will be running. So you don't need to open this control panel anymore. Okay, so that's cool. Now let's start writing a Hello World application. Um, I'm going to also show you the files which we will need throughout this course. And the files are located on my GitHub account. Simply go to the following link. You will find this link in the video description. Also, go to the following link and download these files, which I'm going to download also. Okay, so download. If you have Git, you can clone it, but I'm going to download it as a zip. Let's extract this and we need to move this into htdocs folder, which is located in the exam folder. Okay, so I'm going to cut this folder and paste into XAMPP htdocs right here. And I'm going to also remove that master. That htdocs folder basically corresponds to the local host in the web browser. Okay, the local host corresponds to the htdocs folder. So if we type in the browser the folder name, what we have just copied right here, this folder name, we will see all the files inside the folder, just like this. And we can like click on the syntax HTML and we see that hello world. Okay, so that's our basic files what we need. And now we can start actually uh, open our um, IDE or VS Code as you prefer and start writing hello world. Click open. 
So this PHP Storm also um, has like we have two ways to open the folder. We can click on the open and choose the folder, or we need to go to the PHP course folder, right click and open folder as PHP Storm uh, project. Before we can close that one, we don't want. So open folder as PHP Storm project, and we can move this on the right side, this on the left side, and here it is.